This week, our team hit a trifecta. You'd all be familiar with that phrase, uh, make them think that it was their idea. So in change, um, you know, that's often one of the most powerful things that we can do is when somebody comes up with an idea that we were leading them along the path towards all along. Well, my team hit the trifecta this week. They had three consecutive meetings with three different people in which each of those three individuals came out with an idea and the team sat there and kind of did a little jig in the background knowing that they'd been working so hard to get this person to the point where they would come out with that idea, that decision. Um, and in each case, it moved their transformation work forward. In some cases, it was baby steps. In some cases, it was a giant leap. But in each case, we took that next step. The transformation work moved forward. And it wasn't luck. It was not luck. It came down to a really simple three-step framework that I use in every transformation program that I do to help unlock people's thinking alongside the change in business process or the change in the way that we work that might be happening Alongside that kind of technical, tactical stuff, we're also working on the thinking of people. And so the three-step framework is really, really simple, and I'm going to teach it to you today. First up, you want to understand what it is that's motivating people. What are their drivers? What are the problems that they see? Because if you don't solve those problems, you will never get permission to solve the problems that you see. So start with the problems that they see. Step two, where is it that we need to get them to in their thinking? So um, what is it that they need to see or understand around the way that we're doing things today, maybe the way that they're doing things today, that's actually no longer working for us and needs to change? Where are we trying to get them to? So step one, understand what's driving them today, what are the problems they see, Step two, where are you trying to get them to in their thinking and understanding of the transformation process or the transformative change that you need to see in your business or in them as leaders? Step three, what are we actively doing to bridge the gap? So once we know what they're focused on and we know where we're trying to get them, what is the work that we're doing with that particular individual to help them understand and see that what they're doing today might not get them the outcome that they want, or that there might be a better way to get the outcome that they want that's not what they're doing today? So super simple. Step one, what is it that's motivating them? What are the problems they see? Solve those. Step two, what are the problems we see? Where are we trying to get them to? What's the end game look like? And step three, what are we doing today to bridge that gap? In this meeting, in this moment, in this week, in this project, what are we doing to bridge the gap? So that's it. Super simple. And if you get it right, then you'll have the week that our team just had where you've got three consecutive meetings, three different people, all coming up with the next step in the process, thinking that it was their idea. Amazing. So I'd love to give you, I'd love you to give this go in your organization. Drop me a comment below. I'm always interested to hear how these tools are working for you. Um, and I hope wherever you are, it's sunny and beautiful like it is here in Glenorchy today. And uh, have a wonderful week.